it's raw. Alright dudes, what's up? Guy who camps here. You pick him week three, here we go. Now, normally for you pick him, I used shitty and like <laughs> I mean really shitty classes for this series. But you know what? I decided to switch it up this week and use a good class. And this is actually just better than a good class. This is probably one of the best classes in Modern Warfare 2. From probably one of the best players in Modern Warfare 2. It's the Sandy Ravage setup. You got the UMP silenced, you got the Spaz 12 extended mags. Then you got the Marathon Stopping Power Ninja, and you pretty much rush around and kill everything. And then you got the Harriers, the AC-130, and the good old Tactical Nuke at your side. And shit's gonna go down. And I was trying for a few games with this class, because I got sick of using that fucking Stinger Riot Shield class. It just wasn't working out. So I decided to use a good class, and shit got real. Yeah, the Spaz-12 just does so much work, it's ridiculous. Hopefully they'll have something like it in Modern Warfare 3. And I remember from like E3, I saw some single player thing, and some dude had an AA-12. So hopefully that'll make a comeback in multiplayer too, and then they'll have something like the Spaz-12. And speaking of Modern Warfare 3 stuff, guys, I was watching this thing the other day, and apparently for kill streaks, instead of getting kill streaks, you can do this thing where you get more perks instead of kill streaks. Like you get two kills, you get an extra perk. You get four kills, you get an extra perk. You get six kills, you get an extra perk. And <laughs> that sounds fucking overpowered as hell. I don't know if it's because I play zombies and how key perks are there, but I'm telling you, if, like, you got a dude running around with sit rep and then ninja and just, like, everything, that would be so crazy and super soldiers would be left and right. And, honestly, I think I'd rather do that instead of having kill streaks. you know? You'd win a lot more gunfights if you have better perks or if you just have more perks. That's the other thing. And, you know, the pro perks are back and all that stuff. So it looks really interesting, and we'll just have to see. And I get my AC-130 right here, and it's pretty much game over. Uh, no hope. Ground War AC-130s do so much work when they don't get shot down. Uh, anyway, dudes, let's move on to the next topic, and I want to talk about Moon for a little bit, guys, and I know I've been talking about it like every video for the past few videos, and I'm just trying to get you guys pumped up for it. I mean, I'm pretty stoked to play the map, and I really think Moon is going to change zombies in a big way. I think Moon is pretty much going to do what Doris did to zombies. You know, Doris showed Pack-a-Punch, Teleporters, Monkeys, Bowie Knife, a bunch of stuff like that. And I really think Moon's going to introduce a bunch of new things that we're going to see a lot of. And I'm pretty stoked to play it. And then there's this new achievement called the Big Bang Theory that kind of hints that there's two different ways to do the Easter egg. And you get two different endings. And maybe you get like a cutscene or I don't even know what. Who knows? It's zombies. So anything's possible. Anyway guys, I'm the guy who camps. I got the nuke. It's game over. And watch me slow-mo run away from martyrdom and fail. Oh yeah guys, and I almost forgot to mention, this week's You Pick'em class was brought to you by Yankee Sand Gator 10 So thank you bro, and if you want to leave a comment for the next You Pick'em, just leave a comment on this video, and just read the full description, so you can copy and paste the little thing. Anyway, I'm that guy who camps, and have a good night.